I consider cats really moving artwork. If you watch a cat move and just watch them sit, or even when, you know, they're bathing themselves, they're quite beautiful to watch. So just having a cat in the house is just like having artwork move around your, your environment. Dr. Leslie Lyons is a professor of comparative medicine in the University of Missouri College of Veterinary Medicine. Lyons's team in the Feline Genetics and Comparative Medicine Laboratory is on the prowl, investigating the genetics of the domestic cat, which is in the best interest of veterinary and human medicine. Why cats and not dogs? Well, as the saying goes, cats choose us. If that's the case, Dr. Lyons was chosen and captivated. Actually, cats are quite remarkable. They're the apex animal in each one of their ecological niches. They're fascinating athletes. They can jump higher. They can run faster. And we always hear that dogs can hear very well. Well, cats actually have a wider range of their ability to be able to hear. Um, Their color vision is more like humans than dogs would be. That's not all that's more like humans. Lions' lab is part of the Feline Genome Project, an international research effort focused on the improvement of genomic and genetic resources for the domestic cat. With the advancements of DNA sequencing technology, Lyons and her team created a cat genome that's nearly 100% complete. A major accomplishment, and it's such a good reference assembly, it's nearly, if not better, than the human genome assembly that we've been working intensely on for 40 years. Having this success, Lyons let the cat out of the bag. It turns out cats are more genetically similar to humans than nearly any other mammal, including man's best friend. So the human genome is surprisingly cat-like. More so than between humans and dogs and humans and rats or mice, which are our typical lab animals, tend to be more biomedical models than the cats are. Other than primates, the cat-human comparison is one of the closest. But research with primates is expensive, and Lyons says felines are underutilized in genetic studies of disease. Because cat genomes are so similar to humans, the emphasis now is on what's called the dark matter in cat genomes, which may shed light on human disease. Those areas have regulatory elements that turn genes on and off. If the dark matter is organized more similar between a cat and a human, um, maybe we can find more things more quickly and readily in the cat genome to compare to the human genome. Which can lead to new treatments for diseases with the development of therapies targeting regulatory sequences. Lyon says research comparing cat and human genomes can help figure out diseases that affect people and cats. They naturally have diseases that are the same as human diseases, such as polycystic kidney disease, inherited blindnesses, many of the cancers. We can do a lot of work just with blood samples or opportunistic tissue samples, such as if we're studying a cancer, you're removing a tumor because you're trying to treat that animal, but we can study the DNA from that tumor. Which may help to advance medicine for people. It's all part of translational medicine. Lyons says cat research can advance treatments for common diseases among the general public and cats, such as allergies, asthma, diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure. One recent example highlighting translational medicine happened at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Lyons explains the development of the COVID-19 antiviral drug remdesivir came about through studies treating infected cats. The importance of the cat biomedical model was highlighted and unfortunately is rather important with COVID-19. So before COVID even hit, Cats have been studied as far as their own coronavirus. So they have an alpha coronavirus and it causes feline infectious peritonitis. Well, if a cat gets feline infectious peritonitis, FIP, they're dead. It's a death sentence for a cat. But 
many groups started working with drug companies to test these nucleoside analogs to see if they would help with the treatment of FIP. Well, lo and behold, they do. And guess what? One of them is basically remdesivir. Remdesivir became the first treatment for COVID-19 approved by the FDA. A recent study shows that using the drug early in the course of the COVID-19 infection helps high-risk patients avoid the hospital. The basic designer drug that is the key component in remdesivir was already known and known to be effective for the treatment of coronavirus illnesses in domestic cats years before COVID uh, struck humans. So in this case, dogs take the back seat. However, this isn't about cats ruling and dogs drooling. Although, actually, dogs drool more than cats do. That aside, even dogs can benefit from the cat's rise into the spotlight. Things found in cats can potentially help dogs, you know, so uh, not sure the cats are (laughs) feeling so great about that. Because, you see, cats don't always get their way. Yeah, uh, you know, cat research could easily help dog health care as well.